What is a concussion and what can cause a concussion? Concussion is a mild brain injury that can cause uh, temporary changes to the brain in the way it functions. Uh, they can be caused by either a direct blow to the head or to the body that causes a force onto the brain. The, uh, the force causes the, the soft brain to move quickly within a hard skull and that causes changes on a cellular metabolic level. These changes are temporary but if not treated properly um, can be dangerous. Why are concussions dangerous? Well, concussions are an invisible injury. We, we can't pick them up on x-rays, um, standard MRIs, or CAT scans. We know that changes really occur on a cellular level. And during that time, um, the cells are very vulnerable to more injury. So it's important that we arrest the individual who has been concussed so they don't sustain another concussive blow to the head or body. If, they, if the brain takes another hit to the head, the cells can uh, go into um, cell death. If individuals are uh, experiencing concussions repeatedly over the course of their career, they can develop prolonged problems, particularly with memory, depression, anxiety. And we see that a lot with our professional um, football players and hockey players. When do concussions typically occur? Well, con concussions can occur in virtually any sport. We see them more commonly occurring in contact sports, such as football, lacrosse, um, hockey, and soccer. They can also occur outside of sports, particularly with um, falls or after motor vehicle accidents. What are the symptoms of a concussion, and how would I know if someone has experienced a concussion? That's a really good question. The symptoms of concussion are wide and vary from individual to individual. Physical symptoms such as headaches, uh, dizziness, sensitivity to light or noise, and some nausea can occur. Uh, individuals can also uh, develop issues with cognition. They'll feel like they're in a fog or not themselves, and will have problems with memory and with concentrating. They will also have issues with sleep. Typically, they'll have more inter interrupted sleep and will be feeling very fatigued throughout the day. And they'll also be more emotional, experiencing more signs of anxiety, nervousness, or depression. It's important that you realize that every individual will present with, a, uh, with different signs and symptoms of concussion. They may present initially with um, one set of signs and symptoms, uh, but that can change in, uh, as they, uh, through the process of healing. When do the symptoms of a concussion begin to show and how long do they last? Well, symptoms of concussion can occur uh, right after a concussive causing blow or can really develop within the first few hours. They typically last anywhere from one week to three weeks but uh, some actually can improve within the first few days and others uh, continue with symptoms up for longer than a few weeks to months. What should be done if a concussion is suspected? Well, if a concussion is suspected, it's important that you seek medical care promptly. If you're an athlete and a concussion or symptoms of concussion develop on the field, it's important that you discuss your symptoms with the athletic trainer. If um, you don't have access to an athletic trainer, it's important that you discuss it with either your primary doctor who's comfortable with concussions or a sports training doctor. Um, if symptoms worsen um, and if you're ever in doubt, it's okay to go to the emergency department to get evaluated. When should someone go to the emergency department rather than being evaluated by their primary physician or sports specialist? That's an important question. Most primary care physicians or sports trained physician can evaluate a concussion. However, um, there are some signs that you need to be aware of uh, that prompts more further medical care. You're really looking for, out for any worsening of headaches, uh, change in cognition or alertness, any vomiting, change in pupil size, bruising along the head um, after the injury, and even discharge, such as a bloody or clear discharge from the nose, ears, or eyes. These symptoms show signs of more serious conditions that need to be evaluated quickly in the emergency department. How are concussions treated? Concussions are treated on an individual basis. Everyone will come in with different types of symptoms. The mainstay will be initially rest. Uh, resting from physical activity is key and important. An individual should also rest cognitively, um, meaning uh, you should stay away from stimulating activities like uh, television, the computer, and even cell phones. These items have been known to uh, trigger symptoms and also worsen symptoms. After the initial medical evaluation, an individual may be referred to physical therapy for further work on balance um, if the individual is presenting with uh, balance deficits. If the individual is presenting with cervical spinal strains, we would recommend physical therapy to work on uh, myofascial release, strengthening, and range of motion. What is a concussion clinic and what makes Winthrop University Hospital's concussion clinic different? 
Well, a concussion clinic oftentimes uses a multidisciplinary approach in uh, evaluating and treating an individual who has been concussed. Uh, typically, an individual will be assessed by a sports physician and possible therapy may be initiated. At Winthrop University Hospital Concussion Clinic, we try to get the athlete or patient in uh, to see the sports trained physician quickly and promptly. We will initiate therapy soon after a medical evaluation and we utilize uh, objective testing such as our uh, Biodex machine which really helps gauge uh, any balance deficits and works an individual through the process of regaining balance. We also have athletic trainers who work on the return to play protocol, which is essential in getting an athlete back into play. We have all of this under one roof in one facility, which allows for great continuity of care and also allows for great communication between the medical team and the individual and family. What is a return to play program and how does it affect student athletes? Well, a return to play program was really designed to progress an individual back into sports under a supervised environment. It's a New York state law that a high school individual who did sustain a concussion uh, be worked through a proper return to play program. At Winthrop University Hospital, we actually will guide the athlete and individual back through the return to play program back into sports um, and activity. If the individual is asymptomatic, uh, we can initiate the return to play protocol, which usually takes about uh, five to six days. The individual will initially uh, begin with um, low impact activities, such as the elliptical or um, the stationary bike. A heart rates monitor during this time, and if all goes well and no symptoms develop, they can be progressed into further exercise. Over the next few days, they will be progressed into um, resistance training, agility, drills, and plyometrics. If they are, if they remain asymptomatic, again they can be progressed further into more sport specific activities. If again no symptoms develop, they can uh, be progressed into contact sports. If at any point during this time they develop uh, symptoms, they need to be rested. That basically tells us that the brain's not quite ready to uh, be progressed in a physical activity. Again, the individual needs to be asymptomatic uh, for at least 24 hours before restarting the program. This return and play program, which has been developed and uh, utilized at Winthrop University Hospital Clinic, allows for a safe progression into sports. What could happen if someone with a concussion returns to sports too soon. If an individual returns to play too soon, it can have various effects. Definitely symptoms can worsen and they may be prolonged and may not actually improve. They may end up with chronic symptoms of concussion such as chronic headaches, chronic changes in their concentration, and chronic issues with um, anxiety and depression. We see that a lot in our professional athletes who don't get treated um, promptly after a concussion. There are more detrimental and catastrophic effects if a concussion is not treated uh, promptly and if an individual continues to play after sustaining a concussion. We have seen cases where an individual sustains a second concussive blow to the head, which can cause significant bruising and swelling of the brain and unfortunately um, can cause catastrophic uh, death. It's important that if you do suspect a concussion, that you do seek medical care promptly.